Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate the use of an ultrasonic cleaner to clean my Glock. Uh, this one you see pictured here, I picked up on eBay for about $80. It's a two and a half liter ultrasonic cleaner, 42,000 hertz, and uh, it's got a built-in heater. When I ordered this, I opted to get the, uh, the plastic insert and as well as the metal one. For the Glock today, I'm going to be using the plastic insert. Uh, just because I'm not sure if this is just chrome coated and I'm worried about uh, flakes coming off it. We can fill it up with regular tap water but if you're concerned you can put deionized water or distilled water in here. I've always used tap water and I've never had a problem. So we're going to go ahead and fill it up and get it the water heated up. Okay as you can see I've already got my Glock completely stripped. Um, I have a video on my channel if you don't know how to completely detail strip your Glock. Um, there will be a link on the video right here and you can see how to do that. Okay, so I've got my water heated up and I'm going to add some Simple Green. This is what I use. You can use another cleaner. Uh, this is biodegradable, non-toxic and it's not too harsh and I find it does a pretty good job. As far as how much I put in, Generally I just unscrew the cap and just pour a little bit in, maybe a little bit more. And that's it. As you can see, my Glock is absolutely filthy. I probably put around anywhere between 600 and 800 rounds through it. It's just, I'm just going to wipe that with my finger. As you can see, there's a lot of carbon deposit and inside the frame here, don't know if you can make it out in the video, but you can see some specks of copper and brass flaking in there. So I'm going to zoom in on the ultrasonic right now and we'll see how it works. Okay, as I said before, I prefer to use this uh, plastic insert. So I'm going to put the plastic basket in. I'm going to drop the slide in here. The barrel recoil spring, the firing pin, the back plate for the slide. Actually for these smaller bits I have, I picked this up I think at a dollar store. I tend to put the smaller bits in here. I've got the rest of them here. I'm just going to set that in there. The only reason I do this is so they don't fall through the bottom of the basket. That's the uh, firing pin sleeve. I'm going to put in the whole trigger assembly. The trigger block, I think this is called. I'm not going to put my this in right now, mainly because I don't have room. And most of the time I will just clean this under hot water using just soap in my sink. Okay, I've got it set to 480 minutes, or sorry, 480 seconds, which I believe is 8 minutes. So we're going to turn it on. And we're going to let this run for 8 minutes. I don't know if you can see in here now. You can see bubbles coming up. And we'll fast forward the video to the end and you'll see how dirty this water is at the end. So I'm going to cover it up and leave it. And I'll see you in eight minutes. Okay, we've got about five seconds left and we'll see how the water looks. Okay, let's open her up and have a look. As you can see, it's pretty gungy in there. Uh, the next step, I'll show you in a second, what you might want to do for a particularly dirty gun now this water is hot, but it's not too hot to put your fingers in. Maybe it is. What I like to do is just give the, the slide a little brush. It doesn't really need much. The Sonic Cleaner took pretty much everything off. You might not even have to do this. Next step is to rinse these parts off. I'm going to turn this off. Turn the heater off. Uh, in previous times I've done this, I've taken this out and rinsed it under uh, hot tap water. 
The other thing you can do is just swish it around in a pot of not quite boiling water. I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, we're here at my stove. I've got a pot of water on the stove. It's not quite boiling. Uh, I've removed all the plastic pieces, the polymer pieces. I don't like to dip them in the water. I'll rinse those, for example, this under hot tap water. So because my basket won't fit in the pot, I'm just going to transfer these items into here. Including the slide. And I'm just going to throw them in. As you can see, I don't have quite enough water for the slide. It doesn't really need much. Just going to squish it around a bit and then take them out. The next step I'm going to show you is how to dry them. Okay, I've laid out all the pieces on a tray to put in my toaster oven. I've got it set to about 100, maybe to 150 degrees. I'm just going to slide these in there and let them dry for about maybe 20 minutes or so and then take them out. Okay, everything's dried now. As you can see, everything looks fairly clean. Here was that uh, the trigger bar I wiped my finger on before we cleaned. Nothing really there. If you want, you can go ahead and take a rag and just wipe any parts clean. You'll still want to run a brush through the barrel, of course. And this I've already washed in my sink with just regular dishwashing soap. I probably could have used the simple green on this as well. But uh, this has been totally disassembled. Just rinse it under hot water and soap. And as you can see there, there's no sign of that carbon deposit or the bits of uh, brass and copper. Everything's gone. So you might also want to ask me why I go through all this when I can just clean it the regular way with brake cleaner or a high pressure gun cleaner which would equally get inside all the small crevices. But if you live in an apartment or a condominium like I do and you don't want to stink up the place, I find the Sonic Cleaner does a really good job. Anyway, uh, if you want to see how to put this back together and the disassembly of course, there will be a link in the video at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.